Hi guys and welcome to uh, the Fitness Fusion newsletter and so I've just got a few tips for you and a few weird things for you this week. So um, a lot of people have been getting out and about uh, which is absolutely great and that's what we've been wanting you to do and um, we've been taking advantage of the great weather but some people have come back to me with some weird things and if you want to check out some of these weird things you'll get them on um, about.com in the exercise section. So the weird things that happen when you're either taking a long walk or you're actually having a little bit of a jog or even a jog walk. So you're getting out and about, everything's great, but I'm sure many of you have had got the um, sausage fingers, so you know when your fingers go big and fat. Now there's nothing drastic about this, it's just a little bit of fluid retention from the arms swinging down and the blood and the fluid rush into the fingers. So that's nothing uh, to worry about. And obviously, um, as time goes on, it gets better and better. Okay, so this is a funny one, because I've actually got a client who um, whose feet has grown recently in pregnancy. And after uh, she's had the baby, she's been wanting to get out and about and to just not do anything too heavy but to shave off a few pounds. Um, now what's happened is her feet have swelled in her trainers when she was going on a long hike, you know. Um, your feet can grow up to a size uh, when going on a long walk or a long run um, and this is why your trainers have to be super comfortable um, if you're going out and about in warm weather and walking or running because they can swell up to a size. Obviously again, it's a little bit of fluid retention, a uh, little bit from the impact of the walk or the run. So when you come back and you put your feet up, that fluid will just drain right away. So I'm just looking at my notes here. Now the other thing that's quite common, and, and I get this from time to time, is um, a little rash just above the ankles, like the, the skin will go all red and blotchy. Uh, now this is really common for all you golfers out there, so all the golfers that are going on their 18 holes uh, golfing, uh, you may get that little rash or redness uh, just above the ankle at the back there, the lower calf. Um, again, if done continually, you may think, oh, it's there all the time. So if you're doing a lot of golfing or a lot of walking and things like that, you may think this rash never goes away, but in fact, it will once you give yourself a little rest. So that's always uh, a good one to remember. So you haven't got a dreaded disease. Uh, it's just from the walking. The other one is your nose runs. Now, this is something I get all the time, no matter what exercise I'm doing. So if I'm doing a, a walk, a run, Zumba, whatever, I'll get a runny nose. Again, it's like condensation, yeah? So uh, you're heating up and it's creating a little bit of fluid. Um, so do not worry, you're not coming down with the flu. Uh, it's just a little bit of con condensation. Uh, it's not hay fever. It's just, you know, the heat um, coming and, and creating a little bit of condensation there. Also, the one that I actually really like is some people, when they go for a run or a walk, suddenly need to go to the lavatory. Um, this isn't a bad thing for me, but I know it can hinder some people, especially if you're going downhill. Um, so often what you'll find is that it wears off. It's just like an involuntary reaction, it wears off. So don't panic too much and just make sure you've been before you go on your hike or go on your run. Um, but people panic thinking that they've got something wrong with their bowels because every time they go out, they want to go to the loo. But really, it's just like a little bit of an involuntary reaction. So you'll find that as you go along, it'll probably wear off as long as you've been beforehand. Um, this is one that I've suffered from in the past. These are for your heavy duty hikers, your heavy duty runners that are into a lot of high impact. Uh, so what happens is you get black toenails. So I actually paint my toenails to hide the blackness. What you'll find is your toenails, especially your big ones, will probably fall off a couple of times a year. But again, personally, I really like a tight shoe. Um, I, I find it very comfortable and this is from my years of dancing you know wearing tight dancing shoes but in fact um, really if your running shoes should be half a size bigger um, than your normal shoe to give yourself a bit of room so you don't get that banging on the um, 
uh, roof on the top of the shoe and you don't get black toenails but don't worry you haven't got gangrene it's just a bit of high impact and you either change your trainers or just have to put up with it really but your toenails should drop off and a new brand new one should uh, uh, come in its place if like me even the fellas if you want to paint them you can hide them that way okay so this happens with people whether that you're male or female and this is the the boob the boob hurting so you don't have to be a uh, female for this to only affect you you can be male as well and um, this is when the t-shirt uh, is rubbing on the nipples and it really really gets to you so the idea is to wear a vest just wear a tight vest underneath your t-shirt if you're going out running or you know something that's going to sit comfortably um uh, if it rubs then you're gonna get nipple rash and that is a killer so just nice and steady doesn't matter whether you're male or female you can suffer from this right this is the other one people go you know as I get fitter Anna will I stop going red in the face and I go no I've been exercising for many 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 years and it doesn't matter how much exercise I do, I huff and I puff and I go puce in the face. <laughs> so if you are like me uh, and perhaps fair skinned, um, you will go red, you know, and that's, it doesn't matter how fit you get, it's just the blood coming to the surface and if you're a little bit fairer, it will show more on you than someone who's got sallow skin. Um, but everybody's different, so some people say, do you know, I just have red legs or I just get red arms or just, you know, There'll be parts of you in particular that's unique to you as well that will go red. Do not worry. It's just the blood coming to the surface, getting rid of the excess heat. So um, me, I go red all the time. So that's always good. And the other thing is itchiness. So a lot of people after a little bit of sweating, a little bit of walking or jogging, uh, get itchy and they're scratching away. So this is just like a little bit of a sweat rash. So this can be very irritating and more irritating post exercise than during actually, because you're so distracted by the exercise, you're not taking any notice of the itching. Uh, and then afterwards you'll feel really, really itchy. Um, Lanarkane powder is a great thing uh, for drying up sweat and drying up um, any kind of sweat rashes. So I'm a big fan of the Lanarkane powder. Doesn't smell so great, but it's just like a medicated talcum powder really. Um, but it is great if you're suffering from um, sweat rashes. I know there's a lot of my marathon runners and half marathon runners out there at the moment. In the heat, you're just getting a few sweat rashes that you wouldn't normally get. Um, so lanarkin powder is a good tip for you as i say all these tips can be found on about.com as well but i just thought i'd give you a few tips today just to see what you think and i hope they have helped you please look down below at my well-being subscription i am plugging it like mad at the moment but it's a lot of tools a lot of info and a lot of help for just a fiver this month so join me check it out even if you check it out and then decide not to count, uh, carry on you'll still get the benefit from it it's got diet plans workouts videos you name it we've got it so check out the fitness fusion uh, well-being subscription on my website or below and i will speak to you very soon i hope you well see you later bye